In this section, we are going to create and style the initial layout of the project. Here is the layout, the project we are going to develop. Header consists of the file name, page indicator, and certain functionality such as zoom in, zoom out, print, and download. Below is the PDF viewing section, which is displayed page-wise. First of all, we are going to add some global style for resetting. Next thing, need to add the PDF viewer module in app module and also need to import. Next, we are going to develop the header component with a basic structure and design. Yes, we got the needed elements in here. Come, let's beautify this header. So it's time to initialize the PDF viewer section in the container just after the header with wrapper. For that, let's Check the ng2 PDF viewer site documentation. This is how it's initialized in the template with the PDF source in a variable. Let's create a wrapper with class name, output PDF viewer and inside we can use PDF viewer element.
let give the src with the pdf src variable that is defined in its file. Now we are giving the dummy pdf source and that is from their doc. There's some functions in this library. Let's look the variable first. Let's initialize the page variable. Initially setting it as one to show the first page itself. stick to the page. Since we need the PDF to stick to the page, we are using this property. It's a boolean type property and in order to work this, we need to set other property show all as a true true. So let put that property. Next is render text property. It's used to render the text in another layer so that it can be selected for purposes such as copying etc. It's a boolean property. So we are copying this property and setting to the PDF viewer tag a component. We have some more properties but I'm going to take whatever needed to our project only. Zoom options and its adjacent properties, we will discuss it later. Next property is original size. It's also an boolean type. True will set the same size of the document and false will set the size of the container block. So we giving that property in our component tag. Next is fit to page. It's a boolean and optional property. It works with the combination of property original size. Show all property. To show all page seen the PDF one by one, we use this property. Auto resize is the one of the main property to get the PDF in responsive manner in all screen suites and also we are uh, taking the original size as false too. Show borders to show borders of the page. We setting it to true for now.
and also we are giving an element reference. For further reference, you need file as hash PDF viewer. Let's see the properties for application is enough or not. Yes, it's fine and working well. The current source is dummy. Later we will replace it with the generated PDF. Okay, so let's do some styling for the PDF viewer container. Let's specify the size of the container and certain properties. Let's give the background color too. Let's style this inner component div to, to look good. So we are giving border, border image to num and setting box shadow and margin bottom also. Okay, now it looks cool.
let's see what will happen when we set false in show borders. Okay, the side margin got zero. Okay, it's not working. So we can give it as a true. Uh, yes, now it's fine. Now let's comment this uh, section. So in the next video, we will cover all uh, cover the all the basic functionalities such as zooming out. Uh, download, print, etc. Okay, stay tuned and watch next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification of the video. Thanks.